Hawley's. Mayor Connie Hall. Here. Last Mayor Bill Costner. Here. Alderman John Bugg. Here. Alderman Freddie Gray. Here. Alderman Kathy Hull. Here. Alderman Kim Morgan. Here. Attorney Jay Hurst. Here. Thank you. Uh, the main reason I called this uh, meeting tonight, one main reason was uh, in the absence of a city administrator, uh, council needs to discuss or act on an appointment of a person to be in charge of the city government until uh, an appointment of another city administrator uh, takes place. And uh, Terry and I both have had a couple of conversations I had one with Pat Hardy and he had talked to one of the attorneys. Uh, that attorney had mentioned to me another employee, an outside person, or the board of mayor and aldermen collectively. But since then, Terry has talked to Sid Hemsley, and if he would, I'd like for him to explain what you gathered from him. Well, I explained to Sid our situation, and of course Sid, had read the newspaper and was aware of what was going on up here. But his opinion was that uh, the board probably needed to, to re hire a replacement as quickly as possible, that the replacement could be any citizen uh, of the city of Newport. But he did not think a alderman or the mayor would be qualified or the city attorney or the city judge. So. Basically, anybody other than those people would be qualified to serve as the uh, temporary city administrator. Okay. Any and, questions? And he went on to say that the charter specifically gives the city administrator, and only the city administrator, the authority to hire and fire people subject to the civil service uh, uh, exceptions. And, and that was why he thought it would be better to provide a replacement. Okay, and I didn't request that y'all come here tonight. Uh, this has all happened suddenly, and I didn't think about y'all coming here tonight to plan on making that replacement. It's just mostly what I put on the agenda was... Uh, a packet of information that I had put together for each of y'all to be looking at. Uh, everything on there necessarily doesn't need to be discussed. It's just I wanted you to be aware of where uh, we were at concerning the library complex, the 1.6 million which is mentioned here. Uh, back to A, is there any discussion on replacing uh, the city administrator's position at this time? Now here's, here's my position. My position is that we, we have to pay Scott Collins six months no matter what. We have to pay him that. Why don't we uh, give him a chance for six months and, 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 and if, he don't, if he can't do his job, I'll say get rid of him myself. But we still have to pay him for six months. It, it, it's right, right there. Yes. We have to pay him. Instead of us, and, and if he don't work out for six months, we hire us a city administrator. I mean, that's my position. Any other discussion? Mayor, are we going to entertain any public comments? Because obviously there's a lot of people here. Uh, we could. I don't know if anybody's going to speak or not. I'm just saying there. I know there's a lot of people. There. As many as we got here, we'd have to keep it as brief as possible. <coughs> Anyone? Okay. I would just like to say I agree with Alderman Mug. Uh, if we're going to pay the man, he should go ahead and do the job for six months anyway. Sorry about that. <coughs> go Vols. Uh, a, a question I'm, I'm going to ask Terry here. At this juncture 
do, would we have the right to put him on a six month probation and pay him? Or would we, once that was terminated again, then would we still be obligated for six months? Well, it, it's my opinion that, and, and verified by talking to Sid Hensley at impasse this morning, that the city council made a valid termination uh, based on the charter and his contract, but the charter is the most important thing, made a valid uh, termination of his employment. Uh, if they want to put him back on the job, they'd, have, they'd need to rehire him. I'll make that motion. My motion is to put him back on the job for six months, and maybe we can get a, a lot of this smoke. It's a lot of stuff going on. It shouldn't be going on in the city. After, and this, this is my opinion. Now, Scott has done a, a great job. And, and uh, uh, there's some things he's, 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 not done, he's not done everything perfect, but who's perfect? Listen, folks, here's a man that prays about everything, and I, and I prayed about this. Whether it works, I don't know, but I'm, I'm trusting in somebody that knows more about it than I do. That's my motion. Okay, we have a motion. Now, that would be to hire him back, not for six months. Yes. Yes. Hire him back. Well, excluding the six months that you talked about. Yeah. Okay, just turn it back. Okay. We have that motion on the floor. Do we have a second? I'll second. Okay. And, and, and Alderman Buck, just so there's no confusion in, in everybody's mind, most importantly mine, uh, your motion would be to put him back under the contract he was serving under? Yes, sir. And, and that would be part of your motion? Yes, sir. Okay. I thought that was it, but I wanted to be sure. Should I clarify the contract at this time? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. And, and, and Ken, your second is understood. Yeah, as I, okay. The only thing I would ask you that Johnny add to that is if we're going to vote on that and do that, that based on what the mayor said at the last meeting, that we need to be vigilant about doing the performance evaluation, that if there are concerns, that those are addressed and we are able to move forward. Right. Um, is, that, is that okay? Yes, sir. Th this is an item, and it's <coughs> part of the discussion in the wrong. This is um, item C uh, at the last council meeting. I don't know, maybe it wasn't the last one, but any, a, a previous council meeting, you all had okay. requested that I sit down with Scott and go over uh, updating his contract, which we did. We sit down. Uh, you got a copy of the old contract. You should have a copy of the new contract. Uh, I looked at the new contract after we had ironed out some things, and I signed off on it. The only thing that hadn't took place on the new contract was it hadn't been brought back to council to be ratified. Correct. I cannot, I, I don't know of anything that says in any of the policies that I myself can sit down with anybody and draw up a contract without council's approval because it, it means a raise, spending money, and so forth. And that everything happened so quick that there was not time to get it to you all to vote on. So that, that just kind of clar clarifies uh, item C. That's why that was placed in there. And, and a copy of both contracts were in your packet. Did anybody not get a copy of that? Okay, now we have a motion. We have a second to reinstate. Uh, is reinstate or hire would be the proper term. Well, since he was terminated, I think it would be to reemploy, and, and I think you you would need to say under the terms of the contract he was acting under. Yes, yes. Or you could say under the new contract, whichever you wanted to. But but like but 
I think he was legally terminated, so if you want to rehire him, you need to to say that he was he, he will be rehired under the terms of the old contract or under the terms of the new contract, whichever you prefer. Would it be, uh, if, if, I, if I said to hire him under the new contract, would that be legal? I think it would. I, we, that, that would mean if the council votes to approve that, they would be ratifying the new contract at the same time they were rehiring. Okay. Is he already acting under the new contract? No. Not until council ratified it. And I, all Scott and I have done is we sat down, went over the specifics of the contract, and from my standpoint, I agreed with it and I signed, signed off on it. But yet it had not yet come back to council for y'all to approve it. Is that the best way to do that? So you're... Okay. Terry, would it be better to just rescind the termination or would it be better to go through all this process as a motion? I think it would be better to rehire him. Okay. So, because now, I now, think it was terminated. I, there's no doubt in my mind after talking to, to Sid that, that the uh, council had the authority <coughs> to terminate it and that happened. Okay, my my motion is under the, uh, the new contract. Okay. <clears throat> is that still a second? I'll second. Obviously, then if we're rehiring, he's back on probation. Would that be correct to say? Yes. Yes. So does that mean we wouldn't be doing a performance evaluation on like we would normally do? I think we'd still have to do a performance evaluation in order to make his hiring permanent after the probation period. After, right? pro after the probation period. After the probation period. Right. Okay. It, would you agree with that? I would agree with that. Okay. Okay. I'll second Johnny's motion. Okay. Other discussion from council? No more discussion? Okay. Roll call, please. Last Mayor Bill Costner? No. Alderman Freddie Gregg? No. Alderman 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 Abby Hill? No. Alderman Kenny Morgan? Yes. Alderman John Yes. Okay. Still three to two. And that's not to say that he can't be brought back. Well, of course not. Because I've got questions here. Okay, with with that in mind, uh, item B. Do you all have any interest in appointing a temporary city administrator? I mean, someone has to be in charge. Uh, if you need time to think about it, we can we can have another call meeting and I mean, we, we can appoint a, city, a current city employee uh, along with that, more than likely would go a pay increase for the time that they would be serving temporarily until one was appointed. If we hired one off of the street, that would be a completely different amount of money. The floor is open for discussion. I, I would just note for the record that Scott has filed an appeal. Is that correct? Is that what you told yeah, me? Do you want to allude to the appeal process? I, I would. I'd be glad to address that. that. The reason I say that is, I mean, Freddie just mentioned that he could bring it up later. Is this, are we just saying we're going to bring it up later before an appeal here, and are we going to move into the Excuse me. Legal part of it, or what have we done? Well, from my conversation with uh, uh, Attorney Hensley, his uh, his statement on that issue was that there is no appeal to the city council; that the uh, the city has the absolute right, based on the charter, uh, to hire and fire the city administrator, and the only appeal he would have would be 
to file a lawsuit in court. Okay. Any other discussion? Freddie, what are you talking about? I would rather sit okay. down with Terry if you don't. I'm just out of phone with you. And it's questions on this, <coughs> honestly. On the what is it? I can't the uh, contract. contract. The new one or the old one? The new one. Okay. Okay, do do what's your pleasure. Uh, is there a person that we need to appoint? <coughs> Uh, here nobody has called me requesting to do it. <laughs> so. I don't blame <laughs> As we, I guess as we do the process, I would say this, that obviously you was elected by the people and not appointed by anybody. <coughs> that I would, me personally, until we figure out what we're going to do, obviously, you're trying to help keep us organized, and you are the mayor of the city, it would be my opinion that until we figure out what we're doing, that you continue to do that. Regardless that I'm sure Sid's opinion is appropriate, but somebody has to be here to conduct business. Would that be fair enough, Terry? I mean, somebody that, that has to, whether we appoint him and say he's going to do that. The only problem is uh, the, no one but the city administrator has the right to hire and fire or suspend. Well, I would, I would think that the and mayor if knows those, that. If those things come up, then the mayor couldn't do it, in my opinion. I'm just talking up. about conduct this the daily be. business. If there's, somebody has to be here to sign stuff and do stuff and... Does it say it has to be one person? I think. I think. Or can the we? Would can be, we do? I, I think the intent would the be. Department if, is. Does it have no. to be a department then, head? No, it doesn't have to be a department head. I think it could be anybody. Just one person. One person. Yes. I think so. And while we have the media here, and while y'all are thinking, I'm going to lay a rumor to rest, which there's always rumors anytime something happens, but my name has been thrown out there since I am retiring from the school system that uh, I did whatever was necessary to get Scott fired so that I could take over city administrator. Uh, I am retiring. Uh, it, the city administrator is the same retirement system that I have, so why would I retire from the school system, which is a headache, and not be able to draw my retirement, then move into the city administrator uh, for basically the same pay that I'm already making? So I just wanted to lay that, uh, and I hope y'all print that. <laughs> not that they will believe it, but... Uh, I felt that necessary to do that. <coughs> now, where are we at? Well, my opinion is I don't think we need to appoint anybody tonight. I didn't come here with the expectation to appoint somebody. And I didn't call this meeting to appoint somebody. Okay. I, this is all information that I think that, you know, I felt that all the council members need to know. A lot of this Scott's done in, in the past done sent this to you. But, you know, the library uh, complex is moving forward. There is uh, a list of things that we got that, ha that was required to do before everything can be finalized. Uh, the main one that I see is that we have to prepare a budget uh, that will be able to handle the payment. I'd already give you the figures on what was going to be retired. Um, the, uh, the only item that we didn't have, and I can give that to you now if you'd like to make a notation of that, I didn't have the, the amount we were, would be receiving from annexation area one, and that's $28,741. Mark uh, 
ran that information down for us. So that gives you all of the, uh, that would be added to the 147,000 projected for two, three, and four. Okay, is any more discussion on appointing tonight or is everybody kind of okay with letting the process begin? Of coming up with somebody. Well, yeah, I mean, I is <laughs> it, it's one of those things. Like I said, nobody's called me. I've been called about everything else but that. So you probably will now. <clears throat> yeah, you probably will now because we didn't know this. We we didn't know that, and we have to go. We have to do what MTAS says and. Yeah, we do. We have, we yeah, have to do I, that. That's just, that's I firmly believe in doing everything by the book, and that way uh, you, you don't take, take chances because we're here to serve the people and do what's right according to the charter. Whether you agree with the charter and everything in it or not, we approved it, and it's there. So. And, and by the way, Mayor, I, I appreciate this. Great information. You're welcome. Great. So right now, nobody's in charge, basically. I go back to you're the mayor of the city. You're elected by the people. Well, what, what, what's the pleasure of the council? I mean, you, you would have to, somebody had to make the motion in the second. I mean, I was full time, but don't the city. Until we point somebody, I think you You're the mayor, you sign off. You have the word chance and stuff. We need somebody. I don't count? think we have to have a motion. To do that. I think you just, that's what you do. I'd, I'd rather hit be ratified. I'm sure you would. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know that we can legally do that. You know? Then I'll I'm get sure the contract drawn up. Uh, I'm not sure you can either. Can we say temporary? Well, uh, he wouldn't have any more authority than he's got right now. You want me to just keep doing what I'm doing? Yes. Let me ask you, why, why don't, uh, would it be easier if we sign each one of us a department and then... No. We can't do it, no. can we? No, I mean, to let that department... We can't do that. ...report to us and then to them? Yeah. According to that, you keep Mayor, it. Mayor, if I can interject, yes, Mr. Morgan, it can be done. The last council that you sat on, we had the same situation to arise. MTAS did advise, Mr. Hurst can confirm, that the appointee can be an employee of the city, but the person in charge cannot be a member of the council, including the mayor. Now, you can suspend the rules, and the five of you can vote that the mayor can determine that each council member has a specific department, and they are in charge of that department. But it would be up to council if there's any hiring or firing or discipline to be taken other than the departments can do. Well, I kind of agree with that, but, but it all boils down to the charter gives the city administrator the authority to hire and fire. And I think if anybody got fired because the council member terminated them or the joint council terminated them, they'd have a lawsuit against the council because the city administrator is the only one in the charter that has that authority. So... That's I, that's I stay with what I said. I, I don't want to. I, I don't think we need to vote on something like that. Just, that's my opinion. Is anybody opposed to me just carrying on as mayor? <coughs> no, I don't. <laughs> as long as I don't fire or hire anybody, or I mean, that's what I'm getting paid to do. Right. Well, that don't mean that our employees. Go out and just do anything they want no. to do. Now that's you you open up a can of worms when you say that. Yeah. You know, I can get drunk and ain't nothing they can do about it. Bus can, drivers I, do too. About a cheap shoe. I mean yeah. I mean it's a actual truth. This is, I'm I'm not talking to, like a bird. I mean I mean, if you leave that open, uh, that's saying that well man, it don't matter to me, I can slap ten doctor if I want to. I won't get fired. But if you do it, you like to get in trouble. Here, here's the thing about it. Let's look at it this way. Even though we won't have anyone that can hire or fire, if an employee so conducts themselves to that point, if the supervisor will document what's going on, then whenever someone is appointed, then they could 
have that fantastic job of firing somebody. And his assistant. Yes. Because, you know, you could sneak around and do stuff. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm, I'm all for that. I mean, that's, I believe in documentation. Believe me, I believe in it. Okay, good point, Johnny. Okay. We've talked about, uh, let's see here. Uh, one thing that we do need to do, if we're allowed to do this, Terry, we do need to have Scott's name removed from the National Bank and the U.S. Bank accounts. That's normal protocol. Yeah, so we, we have to do that. Yeah, so He no longer has the authority. Okay, and in order for me to sign off on that, then I need counsel to make a motion, second, and vote on that for me to be able to sign the documents to take his name off the account. Do I have a motion? I guess we leave him on. We don't have a motion to take his name off the account. Well, now, this, this ain't making sense. Somebody's got to make a motion. I'll make it. Okay, we've got a motion. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Okay. Any discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying yes. 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 Opposed is no. I hear none. You get me the paperwork, Jessica, and I'll, I'll take care of that. Okay. Uh, The other items, uh, item H, I'm kind of skipping around here because it's not really, I would call this a formal agenda for everything to be voted on. Uh, I have discussed with Julia and the other staff members. They are continuing the work on the 2013-2014 budget. Uh, the item I can be something that we can discuss at the next workshop. I just want to let you know uh, what that request was. I think the guy's name was Tim Pick. I, I'm not 100% sure. Do you know him, Mark? Uh, a guy by the name of Tim Pick that does the, for, the, the Ray Farm over here. That don't name ring a bell. Anyway, this gentleman had called me and he, they do farming there and I think they've got farm machinery that they had normally been leaving uh, item or two along the uh, across the North Street Bridge and the U-turn signs went up and that farm equipment comes out onto the highway and hopefully safely turn back onto that street to go back to the farm. Uh, what, what is the legality of farm equipment? It's totally different. We don't have to deal with it enough on our Totally familiar with it. Okay. But they have variations of their placard in slow moving, slow moving vehicles. Okay, so we could you get us some information together on that, and uh, that'll be something that we'll put on the agenda, agenda to discuss the whether or not to let them do that if we can by law. Uh, two other quick items here. Uh, item F is the ton truck for the recycling department. Earlier in the budget year, we had approved $7,500 to purchase a ton truck uh, with a flatbed uh, compatible for the recycle department. Uh, and I have I've been looking for a couple of months for a vehicle that was not totally worn out. The only thing I've been able to find is six sixty-five hundred seven thousand dollars and they're all worn out. Now I have <coughs> located a couple that's in the ten to eleven thousand dollar range which would require a budget amendment to be able to do that above the seventy five hundred that you've already approved. Uh, do you need to do that before the next meeting? Do you need is it something you have to have approval tonight for? No, we wouldn't have to, but there has to be two readings on a budget amendment. Yes. Do you all want to do a first reading on that or just put all that off until the next meeting? Do you know a price, the range it's tonight? Ten to eleven is all I found. I found one for for it's either ten or ten five with fifty three thousand miles on it. And it, it'll have a thirteen 
14 foot bed on it, whatever that is. I'll make the motion to make the budget amendment to 10 to 11,000, uh, maximum 11,000. Maximum 11, okay. okay. We have got a motion. Do we have a second? I second. second. Okay. Is that coming from his department or what? I don't know where the, I don't know where the, it was, it was, it probably is. It's in the budget, it comes out of his budget. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Well, what, what we, can, if you want to, we can do it on the first reading, then if there is a problem with it, on the second reading, just we just turn it down. Get it in the record. Yeah, okay, just, we're getting it in the record so we can kind of move it along because they are in dire need of one. So, okay, we had a motion and you second. Any discussion? Uh, since that's spending some money, let's let's do a roll call on that, please. Alderman Buck? Yes. Alderman Vice Mayor Costner? Yes. Alderman Greg? Yes. Alderman Holt? Yes. Alderman Palmer? Yes. Was it five? Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, the last thing that I will mention, uh, the vacant lot. Uh, at one time, we had some discussion about the lot next to the recycle department, opposite streets. It's about 150 by 250 lot. Uh, I had talked to the owners about if they were willing to sell it or if they were willing to lease it uh, to the city. <coughs> Excuse me. For a possible storage lot for police cars, seized vehicles, fire trucks, or whatever the city might could use that lot for. Um, at one time they were willing to, or had talked about fencing it in, they would fence it in, and it would be $500 a month to lease it. And they decided not to do the fencing. So anyway, that, that kind of fell by the wayside. But uh, I'd even been to talk to me on, on a few occasions, and Dean, about the area that they have to work with is basically jam-packed. And I'd even at one time mentioned to the partnership the future possibility of purchasing the spec building, but those buildings in the industrial park can only be used for industry, and it wouldn't work for that. So that's something for y'all to think about. The, the lot, they will sell the lot for $150,000. $100,000 would have to be up front and $50,000 within two years. That's probably, I've not even negotiated. I just got a price. So that's for y'all to consider. Whether you do it or whether you don't is immaterial. But that is a piece of property right beside of it. Okay? Is that the, is that the property for the house? No, there's nothing on it. It's just a flat lot. Okay. Just a flat lot. Uh, okay, am I is, that is that where the building and everything is? That where no, there's no. It's where there used to be storage buildings. That uh, they they sold storage buildings on it. Right there at Rabbit's. At Rabbit's, right behind Rabbit's. Oh, okay, yeah. <coughs> okay, uh, before I close the meeting, um, Yeah. Uh, after this, after I close the meeting, council and our attorney needs to have an executive session uh, concerning a possibility of a lawsuit, which we're in, entitled to do that. So uh, that'll be over in our uh, meeting room. Uh, to have a motion to. Mayor, yes, sir. Mayor, can, can I make a comment? Sure. A couple questions just for point of clarification, please. Yes, please. <laughs> There have been a couple of comments uh, mentioned here tonight that I just want clarification for the record. First thing I want to say is the last thing I want to do is to have to file a lawsuit against the city of Newport because you're not the city of Newport. This is the city of Newport. And I do not want to hurt the people of the city of Newport. Now, another, another point, and, and again, I'll, I'll ask here in a minute just so we can have clarification, especially with our respected attorney uh, present. 
There's discussion of Scott Collins' contract, old and new. Now, Freddie, you'll remember this. John, you'll remember this. Kenny, you'll remember this. February 2008, you all voted five to zero. Five to zero to hire me as the city administrator for Connie to do the contract. Connie, we negotiated it. Started a little bit lower than I wanted, but I love Newport. There's something about Newport. I want to come here to work. You all didn't just hire me, though. You hired my family. I, I didn't rent an apartment and stay here Monday through Thursday like my predecessor and go back somewhere else on the weekends. I moved my family down here. We invested and bought in to the city of Newport. Now, you're talking about my contract, 2008, that's the way it was handled. 2009, November 2009, it was voted unanimously to upgrade my contract to improve the severance package. And it spells it out in the minutes. Then, 2013, February meeting, you all voted unanimously to give Connie, Mayor Connie Ball, the authority to address my contract. Not one time, not one time has, it, has Connie Ball's judgment ever been questioned until now. Not in 2008, not in 2009. Now, the last thing I want to say is I do not want to cause any hardship. So am I right in understanding you all are denying me the opportunity to have a professional gentleman's discussion in an effort to resolve this issue that instead you want me to go straight to chancellor court and file a lawsuit? Is that what I'm hearing tonight? That's, Terry, is that what? Well, the answer to that is we're going to presently discuss those issues in, in executive session uh, unless the, the council wants to discuss it right now. And okay. Now, I have not retained legal counsel at this time because, again, we've all, are all professionals. We've all worked very well together. We've made a lot of great progress for the city of Newport, and there's more to come. I, I don't want to have to go to court, but my family's first, and, and I'll leave it at that. And Mayor Ball, council members, I appreciate this opportunity to speak. Thank you all very much. Do we have a motion to adjourn and go into executive session? Do we have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion. Do we have a second? May I speak? Please. It's not, if it's part of what we've discussed. No. It can't, it can't come up, eh? Hey? We'll be another lawsuit. Okay. Can okay. I speak We're, It is part of what we've discussed. May I speak? We have a motion and a second to adjourn. No, do we have a second? Did we have a second? No. We voted no. if that's the case. Okay. All right. So you make the decision there. Okay. Is, is what you're going to mention? Freddie withdrew his motion and I'll withdraw my second. Okay. Yes, you can. I have to be brief. I have to practice my church part. <laughs> Well, that's you sang a song for us. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't being <laughs> uh, Michelle. I wasn't being rude to you, but if it's not on here, you know, it, it's not an item for discussion. Okay, this is just an emergency call meeting to begin with. Okay. I don't think we should adjourn or anything. I figure, like when the United States of America thought it was necessary to appoint somebody on an emergency basis at the death of Mr. Kennedy. We should do the same thing here. I don't understand why you cannot give Mr. Collins another six months 
You know, we, we, we are recreating the wheel. We don't need to do that. And I think if you were to take a vote of the, of the people in the audience, it would be unanimous right now. Otherwise, uh, the government's going to run amok. You know, it's going to be, nobody's going to know what the other person is doing. It's like having three bosses in one office. Well, not if I can help it. It just doesn't work. <laughs> it just doesn't work. And I think that we should do that. I think that's the consensus that I'm picking up from the people. I don't have an ax to grind here. I just think it's deplorable that we did not try to work with him. And, and I walked out of the night because I had another appointment uh, after I made my comments, but I think we should hire him back on a temporary basis, if nothing else. Is any of you all qualified to do it? I'm not. I, I don't know what the qualifications are. I could do it, but I don't want to do it. But I think since he has done it, I think it would be in the best interest of the city of Newport to reappoint him if it's just a month or a few months. You don't want to leave it open. That's like you going to work and leaving the kids at home by themselves. They're going to do what they want to do as long as they want to do it. I mean, that's an analogy I like to use for that. But I think we should. I think it's paramount that we do this. And I, I just don't understand. I have stressed over this for over a week. My husband has been, been real concerned that I would have heart problems or heart attack over this. It's so egregious what you all did to him last week. Yes, sure. You know, it, it's everybody. Everybody. I mean, everybody has the opportunity to face their accusers. You should be able to do that. And I don't think anybody gave him an opportunity. And I think, if I remember correctly, item by item, he went about and said, you all voted on this. This is your second reading about the cars. Am I correct? You voted on it. He didn't vote on it, you know. And then about the hiring and the firing, is it about who was hired or who you wanted hired? That's my question. I could care less who's hired unless you're qualified to do the job and do it. Do it, you know, with grace and whatever, but I, I just don't think, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let my vote speak for me the next time for the next election because if you all allow this to go on, I mean, and we had those guests here. It was just like a bunch of hillbillies. It was just like we were a bunch of hillbillies. It was just wrong. I've got several comments from different uh, sections of the community. I don't pres uh, present to be someone that knows it, but I know without a leader, it's not going to work. It's going to be. Everybody's going to think they're in charge. I know. That, that's what's going to happen. It's like mama leaving and the oldest kid is going to be in charge. Well, the youngest one wants to do this. Well, the middle one wants to do this. I think we should stop right now and appoint someone. And I don't think it should be anyone from the council. I think it's too many uh, issues. You know, I really think he should get his job back, but I don't have a vote. But uh, I think you should consider him coming back if it's just a temporary basis, because you've got to have someone in charge. And right now, nobody's in charge. And I thank you for your time. I, I must leave to go to my church. <laughs> I told them a while ago, I don't know if I'm going to meet or exorcism in here. <laughs> I'm, not, I, I'm not quite sure what I was doing. But uh, I, I mean, seriously, you need to think about this because what goes around comes around. We want to have, I mean, after the beautiful presentation they gave about the library, and then the meeting end, the way it did was, it was just obscene. In my opinion, it was obscene. That was so uncalled for, so unprofessional. So unprofessional. Even I 
have an audience with my supervisor when there is a question. I think everybody should do that. And again, thank you for your time. Thank I got to get to church. Mayor, I'm going to say one thing. Yeah. I'm going to make one attempt at this. I, I agree with what Linda said. We probably need somebody. I'm going to make the motion that we either hire or make some kind of agreement contract with Scott for 60 days so that we can continue with the progress of what's on the table. And then at that time, and I'm going to quote Reverend Tom Becker if he don't care, when cooler heads can prevail and take 60 days or something, think about this, and get so that we don't lose the traction we got. I think Linda's point well made that we are making progress, and, and I, obviously I don't agree with where we stand, but <clears throat> we still have to run the city. So I'm going to put that in the form of a motion. Okay, do we have a second? I second. <coughs> Any discussion? Roll call, please. Alderman Kathy Holt? No. Alderman Freddie Gray? No. Alderman Bill Costner? No. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'll make a motion to adjourn. We have a second? I'll second. Anybody post it? Thank you. Thank you, officer.